Hello, this is Abhinandan and today I will discuss about uh, introduction of pure quantum state and mixed quantum state. So before defining pure quantum state and mixed quantum state, first we, will, uh, we should note that in quantum mechanics we always require or we always deal with the ensemble of quantum systems or in quantum state for evaluating the expectation value of an operator or any probability distribution in a given basis because if you only if you only work with a particular realization of an quantum state or a quantum object and if you measure that realization then that realization collapses into one of the eigenstates of the measuring operator and as a result we are not getting the entire information of the quantum system so that's why we require ensemble and even now we require ensemble if you want to define the state of a quantum system or a quantum object and with a simple example I will try to show although it's a hypothetical example I am uh, this is a hypothetical example where I am taking uh, color quantum balls I mean I have a source which is throwing balls of different colors and now I want to know what is the state in color uh, that is generated by the source what is the color state I mean what is the color state which is generated by this source so for that I need to look at the different realizations which will be produced by this source then only I can comment regarding the what is the color state produced by the source so this is the first realization which turns out to be red and now if I go through the end large number of realizations and if I, I, I find that all of the realizations to be red then it means the color uh, state or the color state or the color ball is in the red color state which I am defining by cat R similarly I have another source which is throwing a blue color ball and if I go through the large number of realizations I find all of them in the blue color so I can say that it's the color which is producing by the source the color balls are in blue color so that's why I can write as a cat blue and now the third category is that where I have a ball which is a combination of red and blue okay fine because it's neither completely blue neither completely red then now if I look at the entire ensemble then I find that in that ensemble all the balls are of the same color the color is a mixture of or a not a mixture the color is a combination of red color and a blue color but all the realizations are this are in the same combination then I can say that okay the color uh, the uh, source is producing a specific combination uh, specific uh, color ball which is a combination of red color and a blue color and therefore I write this uh, defining the color state by URBB here UR means upper red and below blue because all the realizations have the same combination of color where upper half is red and below half is blue so and then I am just writing as a linear combination of R and B correct so up until now we have a very uh, common thing is that in all the three sources all the realizations are in the same color state or in the same color so that's why we can define the we can define the state of the ball in color as blue or red or a combination of red and blue very specific we can define there is no randomness or nothing pretty much very much consistent now I'll go to a fourth category where I come up with a source which is producing a red color ball then I find it is producing a blue color ball which is very different from the previous one because in earlier case all the realizations are in the same color but here's one realization is blue another is red and now if I look at all of them then sometimes I find it to be blue sometimes I find it to be red and which is pretty much random and that makes it very different from the previous one or the previous three now here the prop and if I uh, look at him uh, if I look at then I find that 
this 50 percent times i get some red color balls and 50 percent times i'll get blue color balls so this is problematic because in earlier case we have either red all of them red either all of them blue or either all of them is a combination of red and blue but here individual realizations turns out to be different sometimes they are red 50 percent times they are red and 50 percent times they are blue and there is a, there's a randomness inherent in that source which is not in the earlier case and on that ground or on that uh, basis we can discriminate this it into uh, we can divide this uh, four sources into two class the first three will belong to a pure state which is generating a pure state why i'm calling it is a pure state because in first three there is no randomness all the realizations are in the same color whether either it's a red first one either it's a blue second one either it's a combination of red or blue but all of them are in the same combination but in the second case that is the fourth one here the realizations are randomly varying sometimes blue sometimes red and we find that suppose it's a 50 percent times red and 50 percent times blue so so there is some randomness is there and which is not cons uh, which is not consistent like the earlier case therefore i am writing it as a mixed state now the problem with the mixed state i can't define color what is produced by the source like i have defined in the earlier way now we require something which at least gives the statistical sense of the color produced by the source and that will actually help me to understand uh, the mixed state business okay and also if you find something which is like applicable for both pure state and mixed state that will be very good and now we approach in that direction and there is a quantity called density matrix operator which is defined in, in this way so let's look what is inside this parentheses inside the parentheses we have this outer product shy i so shy i is the uh, is the individual realizations now we actually look at the individual realizations and of an example like we go through individual realizations and do this outer product then take an average of all those individual realizations and that will take care of that randomness okay so these are like the individual realizations suppose now i'll go explain it for case by case for the first case all the realization individual all the realizations are same therefore i expect this uh, uh, density matrix to be remain same for all this uh, i expect the density matrix to be like a r outer product r because individual realizations are r so that's why it's an r outer product r okay in the second case it will be b outer product b because of the same reason we go through individual all the realizations like individual realizations are b b b b so if i take an average i'll get b and similarly for the third one now in the fourth case we find that 50 percent time it comes out to be r and 50 percent times it comes out to be b that means 50 percent realizations are like r and 50 percent realizations are like b so therefore i write them 50 percent r red 0.5 into red and 0.5 into b so this is the, like the probability this is like a this is the probability of finding it in the red realizations and the probability of finding in the blue realization or blue state so there are like 50 percent red since there are 50 percent blue in that source so we can write it 0.5 into rr because we in that uh, in this entire example we only restrict ourselves only two possible colors red and blue so therefore 0.5 times rr and 0.5 times bb and the total probability should be one that's why so this i guess this gives a little bit idea of what is the diff what is pure state and what is mixed state always very hypothetical but i do it for a for the simplicity and to get a little bit of clarity about this two different kind of states now we'll move to the 
realistic systems. Now we'll uh, look at the density matrix or uh, extend the same thing for a realistic system, which is like the polarization state of a photon. So, so I'll do the same approach what I did in the last slide. So first we start with the source and look at what is the polarization state produced by the source. So this is the source which is producing horizontally polarized light suppose. This is like this horizontal arrows are there. And then I can call it cat H. And this is the representation of horizontally polarized light in the horizontal and vertical HB basis. And the corresponding density matrix to be like this. Next source I take as vertically polarized light, the source is sending vertically polarized light only. Then I can write it to be V and then this is the density matrix. Similarly, it's a 45 degree polarized light. So therefore I can definitely define the state of polarization to be 45 degree and this is this can be written as the superposition of H polarized light and superposition of B polarized light and this is the corresponding density matrix and all of these states come in the category of pure state because there is not, no statistical randomness in the ensemble or all of the for each source all the realizations are, are in the same polarization. Next we have a source which is producing sometimes horizontally polarized light, sometimes vertically polarized light and in a very random manner. So we call it as a mixed state and I find it to be 50% H and 50%. It's a mixture. This, If I look at the entire ensemble, I find 50% times there are H polarization and 50% times there are like V polarization. And if I want to write the density matrix for that, this is like 50% time H means 50% means 0.5. H polarization means density matrix of H. This one plus 50% time V means 0.5 density matrix of P. And if I write it, I will get this is the density matrix representation. And this is the mixed state. Now, one question must be coming to your mind that what is this matrix element means? I think that must be in your mind what are these matrix element what does they mean so to address that I will just move back to the again first uh, state so here we actually till not distinguished between pure and mixed state or decide what is pure state and mixed state now I'll uh, to understand the meaning of those elements I'll go back again to the pure state and here this diagonal elements we find that these diagonal elements are actually the probability of that state either in this what is the probability of finding it to be horizontal and what is the probability of finding it to be vertical so these are the two possibilities because huh, these are the two possibilities only so these are representing the corresponding probabilities so here I am working with a horizontally polarized light so that's why I am getting a 1 and rest of the this other diagonal is zero because there is no vertical and another key point is that since these diagonal elements are only uh, pro representing the probabilities therefore since the total probability is one therefore the trace of a density matrix must be one so this is one feature and this is very important so so this are the thing next one if I look at then in case of vertically polarized light, there is no horizontal is there, so 0 and this is 1. And in case of 45 degree polarized light, both the diagonal elements will be half and half because the 50 percent contribution from H and 50 percent contribution from V. Fine. And in case of mixed state also, it is also the same since it's a the ensemble is like consists of 50 percent realizations of h and 50 percent realizations of b and this results in the 50, uh, half probability of h and half probability of v and you must say uh, in prob uh, there is a yeah there is a similarity between 45 degree polarized light and this mixed state is that uh, 
they are like 50 percent contributions are coming from h and 50 percent coming contribution coming from v in both the cases but the key difference between them is that off diagonal thing this off diagonal thing comes from the this is the superposition of h and v that results in this off diagonal elements whereas there is no superposition of h and v here this is a like addition of 50 per addition of two density matrices this is the density matrix for h this is the density matrix of v with their corresponding weight ages there is no superposition exist in this mixed state case but superposition do exist in the pure state case and sometimes we sometimes at some places people refer it as the coherence between h and v but defining coherence is another problem so we are not going into that but this off diagonal term results from the superposition of this h and v which is not present here and and another thing i want to make clear if we if you since i mentioned the word coherence so the yes uh, for pure state the coherence is always higher than a mixed state because there is no randomness in the pure state but the coherence is killed because of the randomness in a mixed state so this is the thing and the same same formalism can be extended or can be shown even for a uh, instead of polarization state of a photon one can show it for like the spin state or half spin state of an electron the same thing can be done and here this video in this video we are just i'm just doing it to uh, show a difference between what is pure state what is mixed state and why we require this density matrix and in the next video we'll go through more in detail to understand how we like in experimental situation how we distinguish a pure state with a mixed state and how we can deal with density matrix earlier in case of pure state we find everything using a, a state vector but now we are in the business of density matrices now how we can handle those things so those will go into the next uh, lecture so for this lecture we'll stop here and before uh, leaving i just want to show like why this pure state and mixed state business is important why we are like taking so much pain to just to understand what is pure and mixed state so this is very much important in the context of quantum information like quantum communication if i want to send something from here to there in a very secure manner so in that uh, using quantum mechanical principles so in that understanding pure state mixed state becomes very important quantum computation like now there is a huge thing going on building of quantum computer so in that also it is like essential or building block without that knowledge or without that understanding we can't approach in any of this area as well as in quantum decoherence whatever i was saying earlier this co lose of coherence like that so so this this entire quantum tech driven technology the, in which people are working nowadays is for to understand that area the idea of pure state mixed state density matrix all these things are necessary or prerequisite so if you find this video to be like interesting or useful then please share subscribe and like and thank you for your attention